We're not saying be punitive. We're saying make them live by the rules. Be fair. You know, they write a contract with you and say, look, transfer your balance. You get 3.99% for a year or two years, whatever. And then they just arbitrarily increase it. It's like you're sitting there going, okay, what do I do? It's so like it's Folks are helpless. And, and I will tell you, we're going to fight them this week on foreclosures. And then next week, it's going to be on credit cards. And the banks, hard to believe, at a time when we're facing a banking crisis, Right. that many of the banks created are still the most powerful lobby on Capitol Hill. Uh, and they, frankly, own the place. So we've got to, we've got to fight this battle. I think it's worth a fight to give uh, the consumers in this country a chance. You know, the, the credit card companies asked for a meeting with President Obama last week. Right. I, ha I happened to be in the White House for a separate meeting, and I watched them come out of the room. They were all sober-faced. Right. So One of them I heard fell asleep during the meeting. Now, that tells you some of the arrogance, doesn't it? I mean, uh, that, that, that is inexcusable. But the president basically said, we know you're in business to make a profit. Right. You're entitled to do that. And I understand. But you, you can't be throwing all these uh, these things at people, penalizing them for stuff, running up the interest rates, making life miserable.